Today we're making crispy pork belly. I'm cutting off a nice chunk from this whole pork belly. These Victoria Knox knives are getting it done. Doing work, I like it. I like to scrape the pork belly. Sometimes they have these fine hairs on there. I like to scrape those off as best I can. And then it's time to cube them up. So you start one way, you don't wanna cut all the way through the skin, then turn it 90 degrees and cut it the other way. Now you just dry it off as best you can. And now it's time to make a foil boat. You wanna fold this foil up and get it as tight as you can. And uh, you, you know, trying to protect the edges so you don't get salt all down on the meat as much as possible. Then grab a real coarse salt and just smother it in salt. A coarse salt works better than a fine salt because the fine salt seems to penetrate uh, deeper into the meat and makes it a little more salty than you'd like. So I, I just suggest go with a real coarse salt. Cover it up good. And then after that, it's ready to go into the fridge overnight. The next day, pull it out of your foil boat and then just rinse it off. Rinse, keep rubbing it, rinse it. Make sure you rinse it really good. Get all that salt off all over the surface. If you don't do this good, it'll come out really salty and you know, that's no fun. Then I like to throw it on a cookie sheet. This is a cookie sheet that's kind of been retired and no longer makes cookies. It just makes it a whole lot easier to transport the pork belly to the smoker, to the oven, back and forth, whatever. So just out of convenience. Dry that pork belly off and now it's time to poke some holes in it. You know, one of these days I'm gonna get me a fancy little uh, piece of equipment that does this for me, but uh, I've been using these corn cob holders and man, they get the job done. So I'm just sticking with it. In the traditional sense of barbecue, you use the cheap things and make something good. So here we go. Now it's time to season it up. I'm going with some hot honey hog. This is Meat Church's hot honey hog. And uh, this is a big piece of meat, so you really want to season it good. Make sure you get the meat all down in all those little cracks and crevices and just kind of cover it with flavor. And this, this spice is delicious. Next, we're going with some brown sugar. Now, I'm telling you, you're like, that looks like a lot. But hey, as someone famously once said, I'm not here to help you lose weight. I'm telling you, this is delicious, and it really isn't too much at the end. Make sure you get it down in all the cracks and crevices. Then we're going to wipe it off one more time, and now it's time to throw this baby on the smoker. There's already a couple of other things on the smoker. Let's just call it a good day, right? We're going to throw this on the smoker for about two and a half, three hours, something like that, until it's probe tender. You're going to probe the meat. When it's probe tender, you'll know it's time to come off. So we just pulled this out of the smoker. And to be completely honest with you, I left it in there way longer than I planned. But we were uh, doing something else. I got distracted and forgot about it. But uh, it actually looks pretty good. We're gonna turn this over. We're gonna add a little Sweet Baby Ray's. Just a little bit extra. A little extra sauce. This will get kind of tacky as we put it in the oven. I'm gonna brush that in. I'm going to turn that over, going to dry off all that, I'm going to clean this off. Okay, and now we're going to put a little bit of vinegar on the skin. That's going to help, just kind of brush it on there. That's going to help crisp this up. And a little pro tip, so you see how this little corner is sticking up? That means the uh, oven is preheated to 475. See how that little corner is sticking up right there? That'll burn. So just grab you a little bit of aluminum foil and just kind of clamp it onto that, like that. Anything sticking up like that, and it's just gonna protect and keep it from burning. So now let's throw this in the oven. It's only gonna be about 10 minutes in the oven, uh, but you wanna keep an eye on it because this can uh, puff up fast, so. Listen to that. That's music. That's gorgeous. Let's go in for a bite. So look at that. See how that puffed up? Oh, wow. Okay. Mm, it's still hot. Mm. 
That's good. It tastes like a, it tastes like a juicy, tender, meaty, sweet pork rind. That's like the only thing I can describe it. A pork rind that is meaty, ju juicy, sweet, with that crunch. That's delicious. Mm. And hot. That is very good. Okay, so we got some folks here. I'm gonna go share this around, share the love. I can't eat all this by myself, although I'd probably give it a good college try. But thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Appreciate you. We'll catch you next time on Let's Do More Good.